shrimp, so much open ice. Oh my. That's four goals in two and a half minutes. Here comes the replay. Nice play by Robbie Shrimp to spot Stedman who jumped into the play. Munch looks to me to be down a little bit prematurely. Now we've got Kelsey Wilson and Brandon Prust. They're dropping their mitts at center ice. Prust and Kelsey Wilson. Kelsey Wilson and Brandon Prust. Prust with a couple of right hands. Wilson going with the left. Knocks off the helmet. Prust and Wilson. Oh my, big time bout here. Brandon Prust with a big time right hand. And just filling in Kelsey Wilson at center ice. Winning the game and winning the fight. Does it get any better than that if you're the London Knights? Uh, Br uh, Brandon Prust caught Kelsey with Wilson with an uppercut. Turned the tide in that fight. And then I think hit him with four or five or six maybe consecutive shots. Kelsey kind of got the jersey up over his head. And You're again, in trouble then, fella. That's right. Again, this doesn't do the sting any good to go out. And uh, well, it doesn't really do you much good even if you win a fight with 23 seconds left to play in the period. But it certainly doesn't do you any good to lose one. I don't know where that came from. Hmm. I think it's just probably what we're used to seeing between Sarnia and London. We may get a little bit more of it in the third period. Six to one, the London Knights. 23.2 seconds left in the second period. The referee, Ian Smith, with instructions to Jeff Perry and Dale Hunter. Basically, the instructions, if I can maybe read his mind, I have seen enough. Enough is enough. That uh, little brouhaha right off the faceoff following Rick Stedman's goal. And the London Knights have just opened this game wide open. Sting with the first goal of this period. Took them 14-26 to get it. But London now four straight.